Hey fairies, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today. I finally have the chance to do something that I've been dreaming of my entire life. Um, if you remember, I told you I have three siblings, three sisters. I have two older, one younger. You've seen a younger one on my channel. And now I have the pleasure of having my older sister on my channel. And since I've been younger, I've always been like playing in her makeup, annoying her, going through her things. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I've been enthralled with this like her makeup kit. Like, I mean, she was giving 90s beauty. You feel me? Like, brown lip liner, the lip, yeah, what they call brownie, they originated, okay? Growing up high school 90s, it was an era, okay? Aaliyah, Tommy Hill figure, down to the socks, I mean, the Nautica jackets. If you know, you know. You feel me? Like, I've been obsessed with that. I used to like always sneak in her room. She was pissed. Pissed, okay? And so did it again. <laughs> On me like that. So nasty. And that's what happened. So rude. <laughs> that's what we did. It's, it's, it, it, I had to go back. I had to. I went back for more. So today I have the pleasure of having her here. And because I was so enthralled with makeup at one time, especially hers, I have the pleasure of actually doing her makeup. So this is like, you see how that's fitting? The puzzle pieces? It's coming together. I get to do what I've always wanted to do was play in her makeup. But I get to play in her makeup with her. So today, I'm actually going to be doing my sister's makeup. Introducing said sister. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing her makeup today. I'm going to do her makeup as if I would do my own makeup. I feel like we're around the same complexion, so my product should work for her. And she has graciously, graciously accepted the challenge. Let's get started. I'm very excited to let my younger sister beat my face. Let's see how this turns out. Or please state your name. Jordana. How do you feel about me, Jamila, doing Kelly's makeup today? Um, I think you're gonna do a good job. I think that she has a very good canvas to work with she has like perfect eyebrows so you're not really gonna have to do much work there her skin is like very even toned and creamy so i'm not sure if you're gonna use the fenty or the elf but i feel like either one is gonna provide her with a good amount of coverage um i'm excited she has nice long lashes so let's see what you can do so starting out girlies i pretty much wanted to use the same product or base that i use for myself and that would be a primer i typically use either an elf primer or nyx or even a fenty and i'm out of all three okay i know down bad <laughs> but i always have a backup to my backup so i'm actually going to start using super group which is my day-to-day -day primer. Um, I actually love it because it does have an SPF and that's extremely important um, for sun protection. Even though we have melanated skin, we need to protect those skin follicles, protect the skin at any and all times. So I'm really glad that I actually have this base for her. So I give a little bit to my sister. She'll apply it to her face on her own um, and then we'll go from there. So my first order of business after applying my primer is always brows. They say the window to the soul is the eyes, but I think it starts at the eyebrows, okay? They shape the face and then go from there. They make everything else look good. I actually use Goof Brow Pencil. It is my go-to eyebrow tool. I love it. Um, it has two different ends to it. It has a spoolie on one end and the pencil on the other. Um, my sister has to die for eyebrows. I mean, they are perfectly arched naturally. She just enhances it with a couple strokes of the tweezer. She doesn't need much more uh, envious much, okay? Bomb. So what I do is just use the spoolie end and I just kind of straighten up any stray hairs. And then um, I just go in and I gingerly use the actual 
pencil side of the brush but again I'm going for natural brow realness so I don't have to do much to fill in so after I use the pencil to go in and kind of lightly fill in her brows I follow up with the LA girl pro concealer high definition concealer in the shade fawn so what I'm doing here is literally just adding an exclamation point to the sentence okay and the brows are the sentence the exclamation point would be the highlight I'm adding the drama okay I'm bringing forth everything needed to emphasize these already naturally arched brows Next up, I use the Halo Glow Liquid Filter by e.l.f. in shade 6. I love this particular product. With this application process, it's actually good that I'm doing it on my sister because we have very similar skin types. Mine is definitely normal to dry and hers is dry. And I think this is like the holy grail for makeup for people with normal to dry and dry skin. This product is actually perfect for the upcoming months. If you have drier skin type, uh, this is definitely going to be a great foundation for your foundation. It's your foundation foundation, okay? It's a girl's girl. It's, it's good for the skin, trust me. It is giving you the natural glow that I know that is within, <laughs> within this bottle. literally in love with this product look at that skin look at that natural glow this is something that you can almost just walk outside the house with right now as is just brows a little bit of glow on the run take care of have some errands boom that's it going forward i like to use the fenty beauty eavesdrop blurring skin tint in shade 20. Um, I'm not particularly comfortable with my own application of foundation as of yet, so I found an amazing alternative, and that is the skin tint. I like using this one in Fenty um, the most, although I do have another skin tint in Lip Bar. I like that, but the Fenty like mm, takes it up a bit, gives it a little bit of notch. My skin tint that I use with the Lip Bar is pretty much more so for everyday application, and we're just trying to step it up just a bit with this look so I like to use this um, it gives you the foundation look without the foundation feel it's not gonna be heavy and it does not appear to be too cakey I love this stuff look at that face okay the product came and it showed up and it showed out okay this Fenty skin tint is straight skin it's giving skin in a bottle look at that okay that's giving skin straight skin I then apply concealer to her face I use the elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish I love this stuff because I actually think it is extremely full coverage it's gonna knock out anything and everything that you got um, if you have any blemishes, dark spots due to hyperpigmentation, um, bags, it's going to cover it all. It's a coverall, and I can appreciate that. Elf products are super clutch because not only are they extremely affordable, they're not giving you anything chintzy. It's going to be quality products for quality prices. For contour purposes, I like to use the Fenty Freestyle Cream Bronzer in shade Chocolate. I really like this product because I am no one's MUA by any shape, form, or fashion. These are just steps and processes that I like to use on myself. Because I am not a professional, I need something that I can kind of mix and mesh with and blend it on out. I don't need anything that needs to be super perfect. So this freestyle is exactly what I do. I pretty much go down um, the shapes or contour of the nose, the cheeks, and then I just go from there. I make it do what it do. And this product allows me to do what I need to do efficiently. 
and it comes out beautifully. It's super blendable, it's easy, it's user friendly, and it's just something everyone should use and can use. For highlight purposes, I turn to my old and faithful. I use the MAC um, Gold Deposit Mineralize and Skin Finish. This stuff is a thing of beauty. It is so light and delicate, but it adds just enough mm, to the situation to really brighten up those spaces. I love it to use across the bridge of the nose and right on top of the cheekbones for a really good highlight. As far as setting powders go, it's the Laura Mercier for me. I'm definitely going to recommend this for anyone that's around my skin complexion or my sister's skin complexion. Um, this is a good fit. I started out by trying to use a lighter color, uh, the colors like white or cream, and it just gave a casket fresh look. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for skin, okay? I'm looking for a skin look, finish, and setting. And Laura Mercier does that. I'm gonna be super honest, I really just got into my blush bag. So I just like it to use just delicately or the apples of the cheek just to bring a little color and, mm, to the face. Just a little life, just, little, just, just breathe it into it, okay? And so when I use that, I like to turn to the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Formula. And I'm actually using the powder blush in the shade Red Right It. Again, I'm no MUA, so I like to mix and mash. I actually use the True Complexion Contour Palette for my eyeshadow. I um, use it in medium to dark, and then I choose the darkest colors to coat the eye. And as we talked about before, if the eyebrows are the true windows to the soul, then the eyes are what invites you into the house, okay? It's come hither, and that's what I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to give you come hither eyes, okay? So after I apply my eyeshadow to the eyelids, I always like to go with a good liner. So I started to apply that, but I realized this is not my forte. So I just let my sister apply it on her own. She ended up using a pencil and I typically want to reach for a liquid liner, but we thought for a soft matte beat that we we're just gonna go with the pencil because it didn't need to be as defined as a liquid liner. Next, I just followed up with a good coat of mascara to the lashes. My sister already has really long lashes. They're pretty straight, so this particular mascara actually helped and aided in kind of giving that a nice little curl to them. Um, I thought they looked great. So at this point in our makeup process, <laughs> my sister's looking like a bag of money. I mean, look at that face. It's sitting, okay? I love the way she looks right now. She could just go like that when you're I mean, working with such a beautiful canvas you don't need to do much but after a particular age i am of the mindset that everybody needs a coat of paint on them doors and the doors i'm talking about are those lips okay honey so we went with a red lip the red lip that i chose was hot mama by the lip bar and it just did everything that needed to be done what do you think about your look I love it. This is like definitely a cute little, this red lip is giving me very much a holiday lip. I like it. It's like simple. And this, you know what I really like? I feel like I can recreate this at home. Yes. That's what I like about it. Like it's simple enough. It looks good. It's a light beat. I don't feel like anything is heavy and caked on my face. And I feel like I could recreate it. That's how Absolutely. I really like about it. Absolutely. So, my whole point, girlies, was to do exactly what I've done to myself. I'm just now getting into my makeup bag, my MUA bag. This is my first time doing makeup on literally anyone. So, who better than to do it on than my sister? Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.